Welcome back to News 46. Dr. Tom Waters invites the public to a special prostate cancer support group being held soon. Well, you know, prostate cancer is the second uh, leading cause of death among men. And this is something that we need to at least understand and, and get, a, you know, get a grip on it if we can. But the biggest thing is for the Prostate Cancer Support Group, we meet every month on Thursday, the fourth Thursday of the month at 6 p.m. over at Desert View Hospital. A lot of men are uh, diagnosed with prostate cancer. What's the ratio? It's a large group, and I'm going to say one in three. Yeah. And so this is something where uh, prostate cancer uh, patients, their families can come and uh, talk, find out more information. And you also have speakers, right? Yes. And I'm going to talk about the speakers, but I want to let you know that every month, we don't meet in November, December, because we're talking about the fourth Thursday, and that's when the holidays happen. Mm -hmm. So January, we're starting up again in January, and it'll be Thursday the 28th mm -hmm. at 6 p.m., Desert View Hospital. It's in the downstairs training room. So if you ask where the training room is, if you haven't been there before, and come on down, everybody is welcome, men and women. We find that the women want to find out what's going on for the men in their lives. Exactly. And so we, we invite the women to come out. The men, we tend to put our heads in the sand. We don't want to hear anything about our problems. But men, you need to come out and find out what's going on and ask questions. Most of the members of the prostate cancer support group have had prostate cancer. Some have not. But they're there because they want more up-to-date information as well. Who's speaking at this next one? Well, we have a, a group. At this next one, we don't have a speaker. We're just using everybody to talk about their individual stories. Mm -hmm. But we do have a group that's going to be coming out from Las Vegas. Uh, it's, it's something brand new. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we always talk about the blood test that you need to take to find out if you have prostate cancer or if you have something that's going on in that direction. But there's a new test, a brand new test, mm -hmm. and we're going to have some speakers coming out and talking about that. That will be in February. Mm -hmm. So put that on your calendar. It's either going to be on a Saturday if we can get a location or it's going to be on the fourth Thursday at our regular meeting time. For more information, is there a number to call? Yes, they can always call me at my cell number and my cell number is 702-379-3449. Well, if you've seen increased air traffic over our area, Nell's Air Force Base is having red flag exercises. They began January 25th and will run through February 12th. The exercise is a realistic combat training exercise involving the air, space, and cyber forces of the United States and its allies. The exercise is hosted on the Nevada test site and training range. The World Health Organization declared a public health emergency of international concern today over the Zika virus and the health problems that doctors fear it is causing. The agency said the emergency is warranted because of how fast the mosquito-borne virus is spreading and it's suspected linked to an alarming spike in babies born with abnormally small heads. Reports of a serious neurological condition that can lead to paralysis have also risen in areas where the virus has been reported. Last week, the agency agency said the virus was spreading explosively in the Americas with as many as 3 million to 4 million infections possible over 12 months. Here's Noah Began with a report on yesterday's storm. The National Weather Service had predicted 14 inches of snow today for the Mount Charleston area that includes Lee Canyon. 18 inches of snow had fallen yesterday. Here in Pahrump, we had rain, hail, snow, and high winds. According to our local weather spotter, John O'Brien, since 2 a.m. this morning, sustained winds were measured at 26 miles per hour with gusts up to 44 miles per hour. The snow, hail, and rain added up to 0.24 inches of moisture. Residents experienced thunder and lightning and were able to see a sneak peek of a double rainbow in a break in the storm yesterday afternoon. I'm Noah Began for News 46. And we'll have Noah back here with your weather after this break.